started. Trees in the urban forest are an important component of our village's in infrastructure, and whereas trees in the urban forest have been shown to reduce crime, vandalism, and domestic violence, as well as vehicular speed, and therefore are important components of our village's safety mission, and whereas trees in urban forests reduce stormwater runoff and water pollution, and are therefore important resources for our village's service mission, and whereas trees and urban forests reduce the symptoms of ADD and ADHD and improve the concentration of school-aged children, allowing them to perform better in school and to make better life choices, and therefore are valuable assets, assets for our schools and educators teaching our next generation. And whereas trees in the urban forest reduce air conditioning and heating costs for residents and therefore make our community more livable, saves our residents money, and reduces our need for foreign energy. And whereas trees in urban forests make our neighborhoods more inviting and attractive and cause new homeowners to want to live in our community and be willing to pay more for a house in our community and therefore are a foundation stone for our village's community development efforts and whereas trees and urban forests attract shoppers and businesses, inspire shoppers to visit more frequently, stay longer, spend more money, and therefore are important components of our village's economic development mission. Whereas trees and urban forests, forests reduce stress and human mortality from cardiac and lower respiratory illnesses, and therefore are critical to the health of our citizens. Now, therefore, I, David Moore, Mayor of the Village of Green Hills, Ohio, do hereby, hereby declare today, April 25th, 2014, as Arbor Day in the Village of Green Hills, and I urge all residents to support, to protect, and nurture our trees and urban forests, forests, not just for the beauty they provide, but for the benefits they give our residents and community. And witness here, I, I have here unto subscribe my name this 22nd day of April in the year 2014. The, the trees do it all. ADD and HD. That's where you get I think so. And, uh, <laughs> um, although maybe we need to plant some more trees around the shopping center. Uh, well, that's the economic activity. <laughs> right. Um, and, and I can attest
that's for the fact that they air condition the village because those of you who have temperature controls or temperatures um, gauges in your car that read the outside temperature can on a nice hot summer day if it's 95 over at Tri County it's 91, 92 here. Mm -hmm. And actually when you come across Sharon Road, when you get to that area of trees, it immediately start, starts dropping. Too, when you go from Wayne Woods into Wayne right. as well, yeah, you notice a drop. So, appreciate our trees, we cool. certainly do. Um, okay, this is the time for residents uh, who wish to address council um, or citizens to comment on matters before council and ask questions of concern to them. If recognized, please come forward to the lectern and give you your name and address, and then state your comments or questions. Council meetings are tape recorded for easy ease of transcription. Comments are limited to two minutes. My name is Stan Willard. I live on Damon Road, and I have primarily some questions for our village manager. Uh, previously, you provided information to me, and I just thank you for uh, regarding the real estate taxes paid on the real estate owned by the village that comes up about $79,000 a year annually, give or take a few dollars. I would uh, like to, from you, if possible, just off the top of your head, a ballpark figure of what our annual maintenance is on roughly 50 homes that we own. I don't need to know the dollar, but are we talking to maybe at least on 50 homes, $1,000 a year for maintenance? Because you've got to cut grass and everything else I can tell you the whole budget for the the apartments is around 425. That includes um, 425,000. Yes. Okay. But it's so I, now I, I can give you all. I can get that information for you if you want to like per unit ballpark. Right. The reason I'm asking yes. this question is we've had these properties for approximately six years now, and we're talking well over a million and a half dollars just roughly, but will be expended for those properties without any substantial return. Half of them are still empty, uh, and I, it's not anyone's fault. When these were purchased, everyone said, expected a quick turnaround, flip them and turn them. Well, the market went down, it went out. No one intended it to happen, it did. So over the last six years, we spent over a million dollars a million dollars that we could not spend on getting new police cruisers with all the equipment they need. A million dollars we could not spend and cannot spend for a new fire truck or a ladder truck that we may need. We cannot spend that money on a new uh, vehicle for uh, uh, a truck for the streets and services. I understand they're in sorely need of at least one vehicle. It also, as I understand, also need a hot box for asphalt so they can more quickly repair our streets. That's 13,000 right there. No money for it. I respectfully suggest at this point in time, you seriously consider, since we do have appraised values for them, putting them up for public auction at say perhaps 80% of the appraised value that we've got. In terms of sale cash, with a restriction on the deed that they must be owner occupied for the first two or three years after sale. Because we want them to be owner occupied and we want to stabilize the neighborhood. I think that would accomplish both. I think, to put it in a farmer's terms, at this point in time, we've got to get those hogs to market because we can't afford to feed them anymore. Thank you. Schuller, live on Ashby Street. Um, I just wanted to um, start by saying that uh, I understand that um, right after the April 8th, um, 8th executive session, um, the first piece of discussion was the, um, the out of town, the out of town notations. When, you know, when excusing members from attending council meetings, the out of town comment 
will not be used. Well, as a taxpaying citizen who pays everybody's, you know, of course, not pays everybody's salary, I would hope that it, that we have, that we have a right to know if if, if you go out of town, you know, that that be noted. Yeah. Um, um, by by missing by, by missing me, uh, meetings, you are breaching your duties towards your oath of office and constituents who who elect you. And I just hope that um, for, for future meetings, that everyone would all would all be here and be present, you know, and and to um, be here to vote for all of the uh, the votes that need to be voted for and, and be held accountable for those things. That I, I think that um, everybody feels the pain of owning property that we don't want to own. So um, I think this group especially is of the mindset we're going to do what we can in the most responsible way. Um, auction, if it comes to that, would be an option as well, but we'll discuss it. Um, we're trying to make the best of that situation given the economy and how things have taken a downturn you know, as far as the housing goes. Um, we could stand up here all day and talk about what money could go towards. Um, there's lots of things money could go towards, and um, I don't know if that uh, helps the situation that we're talking about something that's, you know, water over the dam at this point. <coughs> um, and then as far as uh, Tony, uh, it was a safety concern that we should, I don't think we expect anybody here to say, hey, I'm going on vacation, you know, I won't be at my house. Um, I think that that takes precedence. It's not a question of uh, not respecting residents or uh, respecting the fact that we are accountable to the residents. Um, so I, I'm not sure I... I, 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 I'm, I was saying about, about attending meetings, uh, at being at the meetings. Right, yeah. but I think everybody here, um, I, as far as I know, there's nobody here that's just saying, oh, I don't feel like going tonight. Um, if someone's not showing up, there's a very legitimate reason. We were just saying that uh, I don't know if it's necessary to say, hey, I'm going on vacation for a week. Uh, I think if it's an excused absence, I think that's sufficient. I don't know if we have to identify you know, where someone is, but I just felt the need to, to comment on both of those. But I do appreciate both comments. Thank you. Okay. Reports of village officials, a municipal manager. Um, thank you, Mayor. I do have um, actually a lot. A, a lot's going on, as everybody knows, so it's kind of hard to know where to cut this list off. But a, a couple things that have already been mentioned that I do want to touch on um, earlier. Uh, we had a quick, oh, trees. That was a quick mention. That was a long mention of trees. <laughs> and uh, I know a lot of residents are wondering when, when their trees are going to be planted or removed, and, and we've kind of been in a holding pattern, but we have just received our tree assessment money. So, in, in fact, we the notice and it has to be put into the account and we can start spending it so we will start um, our intention is to do in the spring we'll do pruning and removal and then in the fall we'll do planting so um, rest assured if, if you're aware of some they're they're on the list or we have a list that we're always building to to get going on on that stuff right away so um, that's always fun projects when we get to address our trees um, I wanted to let Council know also a, a matter of business that you took care of at one of your previous meetings, um, the sale of 5454 Flanders. That is unfortunately, uh, that will not be happening. The fire has cooled out. Um, some positive news, the uh, second field is spoils is now in. Uh, it's not completed by any means, but if you, it really looks like a field now, so that's very exciting. We still have some fencing and other kinds of things that we have to do around in that area, but um, it's a very exciting time. I think that was a long time in, company, in coming, so we're happy that that's um, in place. We also have um, coming up this summer something new uh, that we haven't mentioned, I don't think recently, we're gonna have movie nights the last Friday of the months of May, June, July, and August. So that'll be fun. We're gonna have those back um, under the market stand to try to have a covered area. Hopefully this event will grow, and in which case, if it grows big enough, we'll move it up to the commons, but um, we're gonna start out in that particular area. Um, I also wanna talk about the homes. 
And, you know, I, I really think that the last thing we want is to just go back to a situation where we have investors and renters and, you know, the village has come a long way. We have spent a lot of money, but we have to be sure that we, we follow the goals as we, you know, reach those goals as we intended, which is redevelopment, home ownership. And I, we're moving in that direction. Again, we, we put our, our tools that I call our CRA and zoning, things like that, that we needed to have in place, those are in place, and, and we're moving forward. And we're, we're going to get there. So um, you know, I, I could say just be patient a little longer to, to just put them up for auction or sell them to it. You know, we're getting investors and who are going to throw a coat of paint on, put down some carpeting, and, and just rent them out. And I don't really think that's going to accomplish what we're hoping. Um, if I could, could ask, it was asked at one time about where trees had been already removed and, and um, if there needed to be some sort of put back and seeded. Is that going to happen along the same same time frame as some of the other pruning? And yes, it should. Okay. Yeah. Let me check that address with you just to be sure. Okay. I'm surprised it hasn't been done. Okay. It's not your address. No, no, it's no. not my address. <laughs> okay. Ms. Garber, yes. um, the, um, the sale that did not occur um, was, um, can you say why it didn't occur? I, I was not given a reason. They just, they okay. were not interested in um, a reduction in price. They just went out of the country. Okay. Um, second thing that I wanted to mention is I really want to thank you for the uh, amount of uh, resolution that we had uh, on solving the problem that we had. As I found out at six o'clock this morning, we were we were at Tri City USA together, and for some bizarre reason, I don't know why, I wanted a wonderful set of pruners, and my husband wanted to have a tree, so he donated it for the real estate the other day, and we couldn't find the tree. Um, they have taken it from Tip City to a location, and I get it. I read the email this morning that there is no tree. So I found the right person. The tree is found. We have the tree, but I really appreciate that because I could. I only could resolve the, the problem at six o'clock in the morning and leave the messages there, and then leave the word to please contact you. So that's I really appreciate it uh, taking care of that. Um, and also, I just want to bring something to your attention. Uh, Googling, it's a marvelous thing sometimes, but it's a, my husband does that periodically. Um, he put this in front of me and he wants to make a donation. Um, he has uh, quite a few of, we both want to make a donation, uh, quite a few bi bicycle riders uh, in the village and mentioned the fact that when we go to the concerts and so forth, where do they put the bicycle? Here is the page about um, bicycle racks, and we are willing to donate the first one, the circle in there, the two styles in there. I know that there is a small one in front of the library that the kids use all the time, but we have a lot of our patrons here that from the concert themselves that they come in bicycles from different areas. And uh, so they have to drop them in the, in the grass when they're listening to the music, or so they have no place to park it. So at least uh, to have the first one down, I'm very from being a village, if you have the power of not having to pay tax, whatever it is, please let us know for the first track. There's two different styles in there, um, and um, we'll be glad to uh, to give you the check for that. And uh, if at all possible, um, the beginning of summer is Memorial Weekend. If there is any way that that can be done, um, we would love that to be ready for the first concerts. Thank any you. other questions? Moving on, uh, Law Director. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the General Assembly has been on uh, spring break, so. Uh, no action to report at that level. Looks like they're back to committee meetings <clears throat> next week. So we'll see if any action comes on any of the, the various bills that we've been keeping our eye on. Um, and then the only other thing I will say is you, you do have an ordinance on your agenda tonight uh, related to uh, the zoning code uh, change. And uh, I 
the appropriate time I can answer any questions. Or maybe this is our first, you know, first go on the new procedure uh, under the new code. So if there are any questions, I can try to help address that at the appropriate time. Thank you. I just have a, if it's at all possible, Mr. Forbes, could you summarize the steps that we have to take for that? Because there was numerous. Uh, from the committee standpoint, we met sometimes twice a month to get that going. So from there, we brought it to council. So if you can please summarize that, because anybody in here, if we want to do anything like that, is not something that is done on a drop of a hat. Well, let's let him do that when we get to that. Okay, that would be good. Thank you. Good. That's all. Okay, uh, clerk of council. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, all of these items were posted as required. The April 2014 community calendar, notice of the recreation meeting dates changes, ordinance number 2014-02F and resolution numbers 2014-05, TNS 6F and 7F, uh, notice of the design and beautification subcommittee report on April 5th and the special council meeting on April 12th, Cancellation notice of the April 15th Recreation Commission meeting. Uh, all of those, as I say, were posted as required. Additionally, I attended Sunshine Law's training sponsored by the State Attorney General's Office on March 24th, 2014. And also, I attended the Ohio Association of Parliamentarians annual session on April 5th and 6th, which consisted of the general business meeting and educational workshops. And at this time, I was appointed public relations chair to the Ohio Associations of Parliamentarians. And if there are no questions, that would conclude my report. Questions? I mean, on Chief of Police. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. The uh, highlight of our last month was our on-site assessment. As you know, we had two assessors from various parts of the country that uh, came to take a very close look at the operations of our department. I think of, of note that they had 27 contacts with members of the community, and each and every one of those were positive, so that speaks well of the uh, professionalism of the officers of the Green Hills Police Department. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, the team is now working on their final report that will be prepared within the next few weeks. Uh, they'll forward us a copy of that, and we'll forward it on to you as soon as that's received. Uh, they will make a recommendation to the full commission, which will just outside of Chicago, and uh, we expect that, uh, that they will recommend our reaccreditation at that time. We did publish our 2013 annual report. It's up on the website. Uh, we met with representatives from the state of Ohio regarding our uh, grant for new video cameras. Uh, we were able to uh, secure full funding for one, uh, and we were able to get, uh, I guess they wouldn't be refurbished, but basically last year's model for the other three is substantially price, so uh, they will uh, be far away much better than what we currently have. Uh, we had uh, joint training, which was very successful, and you may have uh, seen the story that was covered on one of the news stations about our training uh, for firearms and defensive driving. Uh, we collaborated with Forest Park. We plan to do a little more of that in the future. It's very cost effective. Uh, we were able to get the Attorney General's office and the state-of-the-art training here at no cost locally to us. And a lot of good feedback from our officers on the train. We made an arrest in an aggravated robbery case that uh, occurred this month, very recently, back on the 9th. Uh, we were able to make that arrest within several days, and uh, it was a very vicious attack, and we're pleased that the uh, suspect in that case is currently incarcerated and will be uh, facing trial here shortly. Last uh, month, during the month of March, we did have five accidents in the village, uh, three crimes. 41 criminal arrests and 113 traffic arrests. And at the suggestion of our safety division, our safety chair, uh, we are comparing those now instead of to the last month, to the same month from the previous year. Questions of the chief? Okay, moving on. Fire chief. Three didn't make it to the three, and everything just like evaporated. And like 
uh, every year. The only comment uh, the chief sent us uh, a note is the brush truck um, is slightly delayed with the main driver sign. Great. Uh, Mike, report. Uh, I have the uh, March mayor's court uh, results, uh, $3,159.75 was sent to the state of Ohio, $101.25 was paid to Hamilton County, and uh, $14,653.60 uh, stayed with the village of Green Hills for a total of $17,914.60. Looks like a pretty good month of March. Um, and I don't know if somebody else was planning on reporting about the uh, uh, Arbor Day celebration that we're going to have here in this school uh, property. Um, but all people interested are invited to attend the Arbor Day tree planting uh, to be held Friday morning at 10 a.m. on the front lawn out here in front of the municipal building. That's uh, this Friday, April the 25th. And that concludes my report. Committee reports. You didn't ask for any questions. Oh, yeah, do you have any questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wasn't gonna answer. Uh, intergovernmental affairs and laws and rules. Council member B. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the March 31st uh, committee meeting was, was canceled due to lack of agenda items. However, the April 28th meeting at 10 a.m. Will, will be held um, and we'll, we'll be discussing a, uh, and looking at a proposed nuisance ordinance uh, that, that has been, been brought forth. And we'll take a look at that relative to our current uh, current code. Um, in addition to that, the calendar calls for some activities in, in May uh, relative to the intergovernmental on the Monday, May 5th, and Wednesday, May 7th. Uh, there are meetings concerning the school facilities uh, meeting. The May 5th meeting is in Green Hills at the community building. It will be held from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, the Wednesday session, uh, the same, same presentation is from 6.30 to 8. Uh, will be the, the presentation uh, involves uh, the information and then uh, they're broken down into small group uh, discussions uh, to, to allow everyone to uh, be able to voice their opinions and ask, ask questions. Um, also on um, May 6th is election day, which we encourage all citizens to get out and vote. Um, and one, one particular item that's on the ballot is state issue one, uh, to fund public infrastructure capital improvements by permitting the issuance of mm -hmm. general obligation bonds by the, by the state. This is important to, uh, to all uh, municipalities within the state of Ohio, and uh, council uh, is very much in support of state issue one, and we urge your, your consideration of that uh, uh, ballot initiative. Um, other than that, the, uh, the only other date with, within uh, the parameters of our next formal council meeting is a proposed uh, date of meeting of the Planning Commission at 7 o'clock on May 12th uh, to take the next step on the ordinance that we're going to be discussing here in a little bit regarding the side, uh, side yard setback of the uh, Village Center. That's all I have at this point. Any questions, Mr. Hermans? No, 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 I can think of, but right. thanks for asking. No, no That's really good job. <laughs> I, I will make a comment on the uh, issue that's to be voted on uh, concerning the uh, state uh, bond issue for public uh, improvement uh, money.
hobbies, if anybody drives on any of the highways uh, these days, you can see that we all desperately need something because there's a ton of roads that have fallen apart. And moving on, service and streets, Council Member Walton. Um, Mr. Mayor, we had um, a meeting on two thirty first, uh, and um, I had um, the first thing we discussed was the uh, run fee contract, and there were obvious uh, public broadcasting information that the way they were speaking, the way they handled the garbage cans, and the way that they actually do it were two different things. And in order for them to comply to that, it would have to ha have to change the whole contract. Um, and the workers are trained, <coughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but you said the workers are trained to whenever they enter the camp to put it upside down. Mm -hmm. And that was not what the, the contract said. Um, so that was the one discrepancy I found there. So um, the next thing that I um, went through was uh, I made a whole list of all the uh, repairs that may have needed um, on the area, the whole village. and. Uh, all the uh, potholes that they have been, and uh, they are, some of them are increasing in front of the, the church as well. And Easter Sunday was a considerably large one. Um, and uh, I put the whole list in my minutes, um, since I'm referring to it here, they are in the minutes um, that I send out for everybody for the draft of minutes to approve. Um, they were having to do with uh, repairs of cement itself on curbs. Uh, it had to do with uh, gutters that, that were um, dislodged. Um, there were other repairs on, on the streets on Flanders and Foxworth and Hadley and Ireland. I mean, I just went from one to one. I just put the whole list in front of which number of houses they were that uh, needed to look at. Um, I also had questions by several of the citizens about the tree planting, um, and they were in the list and so forth. So I hope that they are listening today. And if not, when I, they ask me again, I'll be able to say that A, that you received the funds for that, and B, that if they are in the list, that would, the planting would occur in the fall. So um, that's great news. Um, for um, under such other matters, um, we discussed, I received from a, from a citizen um, a information on street signs and the amount that were going to be cost <coughs> to either have it <coughs> Yes. Thank you. Um, and the amount that it would cost to have it brand new made or um, repair. Um, and uh, we discussed that at the right time, if a grant was coming across, it was a possibility and perhaps to tackle if that was the case of the suggested area of what we would call the downtown or the uh, city center or something. But at this time, it was absolutely only a wish list for right now. Um, but certainly, if there is a grant out there, I know that Ms. Hilda will find it because I was told uh, by, by all different uh, neighboring governments, they call you the grant queen. <laughs> so I think that would be possible. Uh, on March 29th, I attended a um, chair of the convention center about meeting about sustainability of cities and village, and I met there with uh, Miss um, uh, Cola, uh, Miss, uh, I'm sorry, Brown Call, and um, we were not together. We were totally separated from tables there, but we we had uh, it was a different kind of meeting, and I'm sure you can yes. attest to that. It was uh, totally different. Um, I also um, attended the uh, Hamilton County Municipal League meeting on the uh, 31st of the month, and the state auditor was there. He commented that he did, so several people wanted him to make an approximation to see if um, the villages and cities would be, what the loss would be in case of the NOL, in case of the House Bill 5. He was very reluctant to make any kind of uh, commitment that way um, because he said whatever happened in the previous years might not be in relationship with uh, what would be happening at the time. Also, he mentioned that he had made a great <coughs> strides into emptying the folder which he takes out for audits and steps for audits. And we have not have found a significant reduced amount of uh, the charge for the audit. 
that it's seriously that he wants to know about it personally because we had to have shown it a drastic reduced amount for that on it. Um, I also on 4-3 I took part of the Aloe Center um, benefit and uh, it was a, almost a, a, uh, a joint mutual admiration society. They were so glad that they were in Green Hills and we are so glad that they are in Green Hills. So I was able to talk to um, a few of the uh, board of directors and um, so forth. So that was, uh, they were very, very thrilled to be here in Green Hills. Um, I also took part, this was a kind of a outside of character, but I went in April on a cold, rainy night to a ball game. And not only that, but I was able to get tickets to go right into the ground where they were going to be having that first pitch. There was a group of people that we had some tickets that we were able to be there. That was the first experience. It was cold, it was rainy. They, uh, they had to uh, cancel the game because of so many rain delays. They played the following day, they lost, but I would have to say that the Reds lost the game, but it was a three-way win for all three communities that participated in that. We were together as one um, for one event, and I think that was absolutely great. Uh, I attended the um, Forest Park Forum for the school uh, bond issue yesterday, on Monday. Um, and uh, the next uh, Streets and Services will meet on 428-14. And anybody renewing your driver's, uh, your uh, uh, license plates, please make sure that it says Green Hills. Otherwise, we will not get the monies for it. Thank you. Any questions? What's the NOL? That's the uh, loss, the, uh, when they have the uh, net loss. Oh, does it stand for something? Just the operating loss, net operating loss. Operating yeah. Loss. Net operating loss, okay, yes. Community development. Uh, yes, um, good intro. Uh, we had community day at the Reds, and uh, it was still fun to be out there, even though it was wet. At least it wasn't wet and too terribly cold. It could have been snow, as you guys know. But uh, no, it was good for that to, to come together and have a good evening. Uh, and then we held our Design and Beautification Retreat on April 5th, um, and that was, uh, it was a good meeting. It was good for us to get together and regroup and look at what we uh, accomplished as a group, but also, you know, what we want to do to help, uh, you know, make this place as nice as possible from a design and beautification standpoint. And, let's see, there was something else. Oh, um, just kind of dovetailing into the street signs. I know that um, I had sent an email to David Adams. Uh, I know there's that, in, that legislation that we have the body by. Uh, did anybody add to that? I, I, yeah, did I speak for coffee? I totally forgot. Well, I just, I just think it, you know, it's, it's great. I've seen you know, some uh, proposals, and it, the street signs look great. But it's just that we want to make sure, and, and maybe all the people that actually supply street signs are on top of it, but we want to make sure that getting something that's compliant with the, you know, as far as what we need there. Uh, and then, you, you got mentioned about the movie day, that'll be a fun thing for families. Uh, I did come across a videotape that um, it was in the older box uh, of Green Hills, and it might be kind of fun to play a little bit of that prior to some of the movies, just to get some of the history and nostalgia you know, for, for some of the families. Uh, but that's Oh, but, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, I made the plea one other time, and I'll, I'll make it again. Uh, if anyone knows anything uh, concerning uh, the time capsule, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get it in the journal. I know it was put posted on Facebook, but I think that it might, our best shot would be to get it in the journal and just see if anybody uh, has any idea whether that took place. I guess during during that last event 25 years ago, uh, there was a number of things planned. We did see some documents where some of the things did happen. Could have very well, the time capsule could have been part of it, but we'll, we'll take one more swing at it. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody check your basement. <laughs> 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 an old box down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, moving on the track. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. You were going to ask him if he viciously oh, that's right. Yeah, right. Questions? Yes. Where'd you go on your retreat? Uh, we had a retreat right here. Really? Yes. You spend the night? <laughs> and he was on retreat to spend the night. No, but actually, it, it was, uh, there was all kinds of things that Doug's mom made a quiche for us. I mean, we, cool. we really didn't want to leave. <laughs> no, it, no, was, it was really nice, and uh, a lot of people contributed. It, it was kind of a short notice. We were trying to do it a, um, farther out, uh, but everybody with Easter and everything else going on, the decision was to do it rather quickly. Thank you for uh, Vaughn's help in getting it posted um, quick enough in, in that short time frame. Um, also, I wanted to reiterate what you were saying. They had a really good time at the Reds ball game for the community, even though I'm set by you. <laughs> Yeah, it just turned out to be pretty good. It was good, yeah. I like how you sent me to the car. <laughs> I'm, I'm on my way to the car, we're thinking that they're pulling tarps on everything, and all of a sudden you hear the crowd roaring, and I call back, and someone hit home runs. So, oh, that's the game. They had nine home runs total. And then, well, it was actually ten. Was it? Oh, yeah. Ten total? But nine that we saw. And okay. we also we had 11 strikeouts, so if you have your ticket, you can get a free pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Small pizza, individual yes. pizza, right. And I did walk all the way to our car. I did not have someone go pick ours up. Oh, oh, oh. Put that yeah. up there. <laughs> if I would have known. <laughs> okay, moving on. Traffic and safety. Council member broke off. Uh, we had our traffic and safety committee, committee meeting today. Right before this meeting, um, we did talk both last time, at a, we talked about the minutes from the last meeting. So. What happened this time, um, we discussed the, from the police department some old business. We have a no noise ordinance that um, manager Quebec will get over to Jeff. We worked on it to get it into the book. Um, and then also we discussed the police ordinance, including um, some job description titles. And it's about 85% reviewed um, between the department head and the manager. So between the police chief and they'll get it to our committee shortly, and then we'll review it and then um, pass any recommendations along. Um, we, of course, also talked about the CLIA and that the final will be happening in July, so we're anxious to hear about that. Um, Chief Spaeth was unable to attend, but he had mentioned that the, um, he had sent me an email about brush truck delivery being delayed to late May. Um, then under new business, we discussed um, the license plate reader. The grant has expired, um, however, the organization that we got grant through is looking for a grant again for next year, but we will have to pay a maintenance fee of a little over $300 this year. Um, Chief uh, Fertelman went over the monthly report that he discussed in his report. Um, and then we did talk also from uh, Chief Spaeth about the firehouse painting. We'll continue now that the weather's nice. The Easter egg turnout was great. Um, yes, I heard it's like, vacuum cleaning the comments. It's, you, there's eggs and then there's no eggs. So, um, and then we also discussed about water flowing practice, um, trying to find a good spot. It's been done behind um, the swimming pool and, and the Jack Malloy Lane and we're trying to, and, by, and also by the pool, and we're looking for a better spot for drainage reasons. Um, so we're looking into that. Um, the Finance Committee is requesting, had request out by um, capital outlays, so I asked our department heads to get them to the Finance Committee about what they can see happening in 2015, kind of what um, capital items need to be purchased next year. And then we also talked about um, the ID cards that Councilwoman Walter uh, mentioned um, last time, and uh, Chief Brodelman is going to take the ID, um, is going to let us know when the ID card maker is ready and he will email us and we'll be able to get our cards. Our next meeting will be Tuesday, May 27th, um, which is the fourth Tuesday of the month at 5.30 p.m. unless otherwise um, discussed. And we should have the police ordinance to review at that time. Um, Personally, I also I did attend the forum with in Sharonville. It was interesting. It was um, group different community leaders, and it was nice to have a lot of people actually talking and interacting with people.
from neighboring communities. Um, it just goes along with the whole cooperation, um, collaboration between uh, local municipalities or um, governments. And then I also attended the uh, Sunshine Law Open Forum, I, um, and that was put on by the auditor, but it was at Mount Healthy. Questions? Comments? Comments, too? That was probably the longest traffic and safety report I've had heard in seven years I've been doing this. <laughs> Thank I think you. my last one was longer. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't here. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Uh, should we cover recreation and cable TV? If you like. <laughs> no comments <laughs> or, or questions. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be judging you later on. Um, we didn't have a recreation commission meeting here this past March. We couldn't get the enough for a quorum, believe it or not. We have several people that are involved with our place for out of town at certain times. So we're just planning on just meeting on, on the 20th of April for our meeting. Um, we definitely email back and forth to each other using text, you know, different things of what's uh, concerned we'll be talking when about. When are you going to meet? April 20th. Monday? I mean, excuse, Tuesday? No, excuse Monday. me, that's right. May 20th. We have a question. <laughs> that's a <laughs> question. <laughs> Thank you. you should have waited. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, uh, also, I guess I, I just want to make mention now our event coordinator, Claire Gray, who started, you know, I guess about four or five weeks ago. Is it about four or five weeks, Yvonne? Uh, or is it that right? Yeah. I think it's longer by right now. Yeah. I mean, I she's done a really a marvelous job as far as organizing a lot of different things that are happening, like she was like Yvonne was talking about movie night. And the biggest thing that I, I think people have to realize, and people who are watching, how many people are watching, doing big events in Green Hills takes a lot of help. And help is not just one person trying to beg, borrow, and steal somebody to help out. We need volunteers, volunteers from the village of Green Hills to really help out with different events that are coming up. You wouldn't be dealing with me. You wouldn't be dealing with a lot of people maybe that you know. You'd be dealing with Claire Gray. And Claire Gray's a wonderful, nice person, just very organized. And she's really trying to see how well people respond here in Green Hills. So I hope and pray that we do have a good response and some calls here to the village office for some volunteers for things that are happening during the course of 2014. I thank you very much. That's it. Questions, comments? Does, uh Claire have the village email? She got me on. Okay. Gray at Green Hills Environmental. Gray, G-R-A-Y. And listed on the website. Yeah, it's listed on the website. All right. Let's get that on there. Good idea. Okay. Moving on, finance and audits. Council Member Drees. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Our next scheduled meeting is May 13th for the Finance and Audit Committee. Um, I am asking each committee person uh, to um, submit in the next two weeks any items that you feel will be capital requests to uh, be considered for the 2015 budget. I know it's April, but we will be starting the budget process for the next year very soon. Just because you make a request does not mean that we will be able to fund it. I would hope that we would have more requests than we have funds so that we can prioritize those. And um, we can also, anything that we don't fund, we can look at funding in future years and start to look at capital expenditures on a multi-year basis. Um, so um, if you have anything specific, um, please uh, get them to uh, Yvonne. And um, when we meet, we'll start sorting those and putting those against our priorities um, for the coming year. And uh, at the proper time, I do have an ordinance. Um, it's not really a finance audit, but I was part of the Planning Commission. I was in favor. <laughs> what, what time is the meeting on the 13th? 4.30. Comments or questions? Yes, actually. Mm -hmm. um, no, uh, it's uh, we talked about siding or painting or doing something with the maintenance building uh, to, to cleanse it. Is that already figured into? No, we, we would discuss that at the meeting, okay. and I did not have the figures yet because uh, the village manager was um, not available prior to that. So 
we're going to be discussing that on the um, 428 and that the top item for that. But, but in answer to your question, that was not budgeted for this year. Okay. So is that a way of saying it's not happening this year? Or is that? <laughs> you know, it's a matter of your priorities <laughs> and what, what yeah. we have to do. I, you know, I, I guess I'd like to make this comment. When we, this exercise is to help us set priorities and we need to give the manager some latitude to operate. You know, we, we had a tough winter from a financial standpoint because of overtime, salt, additional road repair, uh, repairs to vehicles, additional fuel. Um, so uh, it's not, it wasn't budgeted as a capital expenditure this year. Um, as these issues come up, um, the, the whole goal is if we have a capital expenditure and we plan on spending money for something, um, then we go ahead and do that and um, if we plan properly, we will have less of these, um, gosh, do we plan for this? No, but we'd like to do it events. And so that's, that's kind of what we're trying to work towards. Uh, but right now, that is not that was not budgeted for the 2014 budget. Uh, the only reason I bring it up is it's a year in and year out request. And I just, the reason I bring it up is um, maybe there are some creative ways to have it not be that big of a budget item. You know, if we can keep the cost down in some. We have this cost down as well. We've got a neighbor next to us there, a very sound business that has made the request. I don't know if it's going on four or five years or longer. Um, and I just think that, you know, we may never have the money. Um, and if that's the case, you know, is there a creative solution? resolve at least one part of the building uh, so that it looks professional. And we discuss it from a, a creative thinking outside of the box, but we don't really need to discuss that with uh, uh, Mr. Forbes. Uh, we did not have the chance to do that. Okay. We had a couple of ideas, but we need the input directly with the local director as of what um, we can do. Did you get a pony up to run? No. <laughs> uh, and I know I'm adding on to it, but you know, our design and beautification committee, there's times where we've got money for paint. And I know that the ideal solution isn't to paint over rust, um, but you know, I've got people that might be willing to do that with rust oleum, even if it gets us a year or two 